Hey guys, it's Maddie. Um, I am the outreach coordinator for um, our team this year. And with that, we do a lot of things. Normally in a normal year, um, we would do more outreach in the elementary school. So we'd make some lessons and go teach them. Um, we tried to do some over Zoom this year. It just didn't work out with timing. Uh, we weren't able to go in. We're not able to do any field trips um, into classrooms. Um, but normally we would have some type of activity. We'd let them drive some robots we have. We have outreach robots. They are two different drivetrains, so they can test out the different drive chains to see what is different. One of them is direct drive and the other one is chain driven. Um, and with that, um, we also have a team over at PRT and we help mentor them and help them get ready for their season. Um, this year we loaned them some things that um, they could use while they were waiting on their field. Um, we help them with whatever they need. So we just have them contact us and we will join. This year we joined their Zooms to help. Um, and so I also set up a design review. Um, so at the beginning of the year, we had a design review with some engineers from two different companies. Um, one was from Parker Hannafin and the other was from Raytheon Technologies. Um, both of these contacts I already knew. Um, they are former, they, one works with my dad and one used to be one of his co-workers. Um, so you always want to contact people that you already know. Um, you're more likely to get a response from somebody that already knows you than if you just contact someone random. I know Hernandez has a lot of contacts you guys can use if you ever need um, some. And... Um, so for that design review, we set up a Google Slides uh, for them to look at while we presented. So, so here is what our Google Slides looked like. So we um, put us together a little slide presentation. We start off with our logo. We put our goal for the meeting so everybody knew what was um, ha happening throughout the meeting. And then we just went through and we put our strategies. We put all of our designs, our prototypes, anything we had that we wanted them to look at. Uh, we did it with a Q&A and we let them ask us some questions and it was really helpful. So we started out with this vertical design and it ended up... Um, we ended up changing it after the meeting due to some conversations we had with them and they just helped us really uh, work through our design and show us what limitations we had. So that's what we did for the design review. And then I also, um, obviously you guys are doing this junior club. So this is what the Google Classroom looks like from our end. We just create the announcements. Fernando's will put the videos on Edpuzzle for us. Um, and then we have a Google folder in our shared drive um, that has all of our videos um, that we ever did um, for you guys in here. And this is just to help us organize so everybody can see everything in one place and everybody knows what was happening that week. So before we even ever started, we had a Google Doc that I created with our outline and a day-by-day -day, um, breakdown so we knew what was happening. Um, and everybody was on the same page. Uh, with that, you have to be really organized to be able to find all of your stuff. So on my computer here, I downloaded all the videos from the camera into a folder. Let me just share that with you guys. So I took all of this off of our camera that we have at school and put them into folders so we know exactly which week they were coming from. Um, and this was from our very first day. We made some instructions for everybody so they knew how to film when they were filming out at the school. Um, but for outreach, there's no limitation. So this year we didn't need to do any fundraising. So I didn't set any fundraising up, but you'll set up fundraising events to help the team um, be able to purchase anything that needs to be purchased next year and travel costs. Um, so you, it, 
every email you send has to go through Hernandez first. So if you draft an email, you have to send it to him first and he'll send it back with any revisions he wants you to make um, before you send it out to whoever you're contacting. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me or any Hernandez or anyone. Um, most people should have an answer for you. Thank you.